Okay, now we're going to take a look at a, a tool called Product Position. It's an inventory availability tool and it's used by sales, purchasing, uh, as well as people in logistics. So there's a couple different ways you can get to it. Um, for most people it does appear in their quick task menu. You can also access it from the sales and purchasing menu and go into Product Position. And I'll select from my list of products here. Let's pick this sorbic acid, for example. And we'll say we want to view it. Our unit of measure that we want to see quantities would be pounds. Let's say proceed. It's going to load an Excel spreadsheet for us here. And most of us, those people using Visco, know that, that we do use Excel pretty heavily throughout the system. Um, but this is pulling data from the database um, to display our position for sorbic acid. So within these big red columns here, let's say between um, rows 14 and 27, these represent inbound shipments or ventures. Um, this would be the vendor that it's come from, the specific venture numbers, and by the way, if you hover over these ventures, you can get additional details about the venture. Um, like in this case, it says that you know the status of it, the quantity, how much of it's been final matched, and so on. This would be um, the, the status of the venture. So if it's PO issued, obviously that means that we've placed the order with the supplier, but they haven't actually shipped it. Uh, if it's in a warehouse, it'll give us the warehouse name. If it's in transit, it'll say in transit. Um, if in, in this on hand column, this is going to represent our total quantity on hand right now. So in this case, we have 336,000 pounds on hand. We have four shipments which are past due, meaning they should be in by now based on our ETA, but, but they're not. Um, and we have another one, two, three, four, five shipments due in at some point in August, and that's, that's our inbound picture. Now down below, there's an outbound picture, meaning what we have committed to customers based on actual sales orders. Um, this would be the customer the status of the shipment or the release and this will tell us whether it's SO issued, um, final matched meaning we've allocated it to someone, release to logistics meaning we've indicated that it's it's ready to ship. So in this case we have five or so releases that are past due. Um, it's actually six that are past due meaning that the customers expected it to be delivered already based on the, the delivery date but we haven't actually shipped it yet. We have another, you know, some more going out in August, more in September, October, November, December, and so on. But the point here, um, and the the big the big value that you're getting out of this position sheet is the the balances down here at the bottom. So inbound totals represent for this period, like August, for example, we have 42,000 coming in, we have 489,000 going out. So our cumulative I'm sorry, our, our long short for that period is negative um, 69,150. Now, we have the long short cumulative inventory balance, meaning if we look at what we have coming in minus what we have going out um, over a period of time, what's our inventory balance going to be? So, for example, by the end of November, my inventory is down to 87,000 pounds, and I can see by December I have a negative inventory position. So considering that's however four months away I may want to start addressing that now um, knowing that I'm going to have a negative position on the product in December I may need to start placing some orders with suppliers now. So the the reason behind this is what we're trying to account for is the fact that we are dealing with suppliers that are overseas and there can be some big lag times between the time that you place the order with the supplier and the time your customer is actually getting the goods. So we're trying to give you visibility as to you know, what your inventory is going to look like months out so you can start making decisions about that now. A um, couple of other points about how you can use the position sheet. Um, one thing a lot of people do is when they want to look at inventory, uh, they'll just show inventory that's, for example, just give us things that are in the warehouses right now and that'll narrow it down to this, just what's in the warehouse or if you wanted to say only show me what's in transit or on order for
for example. Um, you can narrow it down that way. Um, another thing you can do, let me show all here again, is in looking at inventory, if you wanted to say exclude those things which are final matched, meaning when I want to look at my inventory numbers, if I've already allocated the inventory to someone, don't show it to me or don't include that inventory in my in my totals um, and that will eliminate that those those inventory values uh, as far as the column headings go here you can change these column headings so that instead of being months you can have them be exact days you can have them be weeks you can have them be quarters um, by this drop down here if you wanted to change the units to measure instead of looking at it in pounds you want to look at it in kilos you can change the unit of measure here. Um, there's a little summary here that will tell you, you know, overall what your long, short, cumulative balance is based on how however far out you go. So in this case, our, our balance is, is negative over the long term. If we want to get details, obviously we, we come down here into the, the various months. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can actually add back to backs if you're using the back-to-back -back function, you can add back-to-backs right here from within the position sheet. So if you wanted to kind of earmark inventory for a specific release, you could do that by selecting from the various ventures here and back-to-backing them with the various releases that we have here and click that button and that will add the back-to-back. -back. That is the basic to, to the position sheet. There's another report called the position sheet summary which will give you all products within a single position sheet. Um, you can ask your, your Visco support representative and um, they can add that to your reports if you don't have it already and it'll show up in your customer reports. But the, that's the product position to give you your, your position over time for a specific product.